Hey guys, it's Jonah here and I'm back, back with a beer review. And this one is straight from London. Welcome to London, mate. This is a brewery that I have done a couple of reviews on before. Look at that. It's the Colonel. And this one's um, the, their pale ale version. Uh, and it's Simcoe. I believe this is the American pale ale. Let us have a look. Uh, bottle condition, blah, blah, blah. Gives the dates on it. Not much other information. As some of you well know, this brewery is in South East London. South East London, mate. Uh, pretty near to London Bridge. And if you get the train from London Bridge towards a Kent, um, you will definitely go above the heads of the brewery. Because it's in one of those railway arches underneath the main line. Interesting, interesting place. And they do do some very interesting beers. Oh, not giving much away. Some would say they are bordering on the American APA or AIPA. -A um, definitely the American kind of style. Um, this one's been in the fridge, so we might have a bit of chill haze. But never mind. I quite like my beer. Slightly chilled. There we go. Bottle condition. So I'll leave a little bit at the bottom. There we go. Yep. Claddy as anything, mate. That's what you get when you put your brews in the fridge. Headwise, half a finger head, just off white. Lovely, lovely cap. Now this one's interesting. Simpo or Simco. Simpo as a hop. I was expecting a bit more on the nose, to be honest. Let's, let's dive in, see what we get. Oh, definitely getting that hop hedge. Not IPA, but not too far away. If you're a hop head, you will enjoy that initial taste of hops. And we're getting a kind of we're getting a kind of marmalade maybe Seville orange or Sevilla orange kind of taste. Slightly resinous, but this one is very, very smooth. I like it. It's really hoppy up front. Nice pale ale smoothness on the back end. Not very sweet, I would have to say. Maybe a touch just on the end, but this one's all about the hoppage up front. Um, 5.4, I think, on the ABV on this bad boy. Now, um, the Colonel, they are very minimalist. I mean, look at that label. That is literally on a kind of sticky tape that I could roll out. Easy peasy. The, the cap as well, very minimalist. You can go and visit them only on the Saturday to buy the beers from them. But in the London craft brew scene, these are one of the bad boys, I have to say. They're very resigned. Ooh, along with that kind of orangey taste. I'm now getting a bit of vanilla. Maybe a kind of tiny bit of grapefruit, but not too much. It's not giving much away on the flavor. That's, I'm slightly disappointed. I was expecting this to be a full on, a full on beer, you know, in the American um, craft beer kind of moniker. I am pleasantly surprised that it is not. Tiny bit too much hop at the front for me. But very small, very smooth, <laughs> very smooth, very drinkable. I do like this. 
tiny bit too hoppy for me. Hides the alcohol quite well, 5.4. You'd expect that to have a bit of alcohol sort of burn in there, but it hasn't at all. Um, only thing is, perhaps on the next one, because I am going to drink a few more of the Colonel beers, they are good beers, I don't think I'm going to put them in the fridge next time, because that is a, is a bit of a shame. It is more of a wheat beer, and it is not supposed to be. Anyway, guys, cheers and beers. If you can find these, they are well worth a try. They are slightly on the expensive side, I have to say. Um, sort of £2.50 to £2, maybe even £3 a bottle. Um, this one's a 500 They do do the dreaded 330s as well. Go figure. <laughs> Guys, this has been Uncle Jonah reviewing another beer for you, so you can pick out the good ones from the wrong ones. This one's a good one, by the way. Please click like down below. Click subscribe if you want to, because otherwise you will miss the next review, and there will be some more. <laughs> Cheers and beers, guys. We'll see you real soon for more beer, mere John of Wrongness. Mmm, hoppy.